So I went back on FIFA 17 because I believe it's the best FIFA ever made. And I went to go look at the amazing things that EA Sports had in this game and the things they took away from us. And there was no reason for them to actually take the stuff away from us, but they did. So I wanna show you guys a few things, all right? Let's kick this thing off and show you exactly what I mean. As you first enter in, you're gonna see the team that I had on my RTG, which we'll get into that whole conversation in a minute because this is me getting my monthly top 100 rewards on a road to glory where I was doing it with Gold Walker, my boy Smaldini, AKA Smalling, De Gea, and I believe that's Chan's inform card, and a player, a player, a man of the match, Walcott, orange card. And this team right here was one of my favorite teams all time of any FIFA. And if you give me that team right now, and I played most teams in the games that you guys are playing, like the new FIFAs, I could smoke people because this team was just remarkable. Because it didn't really come down to how much you spent on the game or how many, how many huge cards you had. It just came down to the ability to be able to play the game and if the players fit your play style. But let's not start on that right there. I want to bring you out and I want to show you up top. First of all, let's start with the small things. Look at the record and the way you see your coins and the menu. Let's start with the record. The reason EA Sports got rid of the record, lads, is simply for one thing and one thing only. They didn't want people that were bad at the game to see their record and then get discouraged and quit the game. So instead, they removed the record and have it so you can't see it, so people wouldn't get discouraged and then they go open more packs. It was a tactic for people, to, for EA to keep the, the kids that aren't good at the game on the game and not get their like feelings hurt. It's kind of like a tr uh, second place like trophy that you get for participating. It's weird. I don't understand why in a sports game, in a sports game where sports are meant to be competitive, you're removing records and trying to like kind of hide the fact that you neither need to get better, improve. It doesn't make any sense. That little thing is one thing that's just so annoying. Your coins, everything's right there in front of your face. Even the way the pack menu is, is a million times better. But this, what you're looking at is called top 100 foot champions rewards. Now, a lot of you guys might not know about this, but let me explain. Every time you would play weekend league, right? Let's say the month of June starts. There's four weeks and four weekends in June. It would add your, your, your wins for the month. And if you got a certain amount of wins, you would be in the top 100 in the world. And then you got yourself a guaranteed icon pack and a bunch of red cards. So my road to glory had a chance of getting absolutely juiced simply because I played all four weekend leagues and because I played well, because I got a good finish. So I believe I got like 30th or 40th in the world here. And I got myself a beautiful, beautiful icon to kick it off. And this icon is no longer in the game, unfortunately. But this was an icon that used to be in the game back in the day. And it was a left wing back, absolute beast uh, icon, 89 pace, good defending, good passing, good physical. But it was a great pool for an RTG. And this was simply because I played the weekend league every single weekend. They removed this from us. They took away monthly rewards. Nowadays, it is the cool thing is to go into weekend league and after you get your 11 wins or whatever to just give wins away or just back out at zero and get your packs. Well, back in the day, we couldn't do that because we wanted to get monthly rewards. So every win, every loss mattered. Every game you loaded into mattered. So you didn't get people backing out at nil nil. You didn't get people just handing away wins. You kept that competitive. You kept that, 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 that you know, what makes sports, what makes football so amazing that like, yo, have to win every single game. I just watched Portugal versus Georgia and because Portugal didn't have to play or have to win, they played their second team and I'm on my phone just like playing like, iPhone games because the game didn't matter and I'm like this is boring like that stinks bro like when a game is not competitive it ain't fun to watch so I don't know why EA Sports took this away from people but anyways you are watching right there all the reds are team of the weeks that happen throughout the month and then you get yourself a guaranteed um inform so I got all of these cards simply because I played the month of weekend league Nowadays, it's hard to make people even want to play one week because everyone knows the rewards ain't going to pay out and everybody knows that there's nothing at the end of the month. By the way, I want you guys to pay attention to my record here, lads. 849 wins and 192 losses. Like, this was a game that you just wanted to continue to play because it was so enjoyable to play. I also want you guys to know that... I started this road to glory like something like January or so. Like this account was not started in the beginning of the of the year. I in the beginning of the year I had a rich man to glory and people were like, damn, how are you getting number one in the world? How are you getting top 100? 
can you show us? A lot of people in the comments like, oh, it's only because you're a pay to win. And I said, hey guys, I'll start a Road to Glory. And they were like, yeah, let's do it. So I started my Road to Glory in 17 around January or December. And I showed people how to get top 100 and how to get, you know, good finishes without wasting money. And, um, and this is the team I used, lads. I had Bruma coming off the bench. Um, and then I just had a nice little walk walker who was amazing because in this game, lads, it, there was no like crazy AI defending. So when I had Walker one-on-one -on -one against your defender, it was either you know how to make a tackle, you know how to slide at me, or I'm gonna barbecue chicken you and I'm one-on-one -on -one with the goalie and I'm gonna hit you with a low driven. It's gonna hit the back of the net and there's nothing you can do about it. Like that was simple. It was simple. It was a it was it was simpler times. You, you know, it it, 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 it it was one of those things where you didn't have to worry about someone second man pressing you all the time. And, and the crazy thing about it, lads, this was 40 games. 40 games. So if you played yourself 40 games every single for the whole month. You know, 40 each weekend, you get yourself some nice rewards. And as you jump into the gameplay, I want to show you something else that's amazing. You see your players, your opponent's team. Why do they take this away from us? I have no idea. I have no idea why this is gone. I know you can go in now and you can see it, but this this screen was perfect. You saw your opponent's team. You kind of got an understanding of what he was going to run. Now people just skip. But as you watch this gameplay, because we can get off the menus now, I want you guys to pay attention to how fluid this thing moves. It's not about how many fake La Corquetas you can do, how many skill cancels you can do. It's not about all that nonsense that never really happens in real life. Who's doing Rabonas? Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, few players, right? Who's doing uh, uh, crazy stepovers and, and, and all that stuff? A few players. Football's not about that, bro. Football's about passing. Football's about, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the, the occasional skill move from the very skillful players. That's what football's about. And that's why this game was so good. It was a game that if you were a good skiller, you could easily skill no problem. But you had to be a good skiller. You had to be someone that knew how to, you had to be Neymar, but on the stick. You had to be somebody that understood skill moves on the stick, right? And, and if you were that person, you were very hard to defend against. Nowadays, anybody can skill. It's so easy. It's so basic. It's so like, it's it's not even like when when you see someone skill and you don't even get excited no more. Back in old FIFA's when you saw somebody skill and you were like, damn, they nasty. They know how to play the game because there was like skills to, it was like, it, it took something, understanding how to, how to combo it and stuff like that. Now you just see people spamming the same thing over and over and, 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 and thinking they a skiller. So it, it, to me, what's crazy is the things we're looking at in FIFA 17 are literally things that EA just took away. Let's talk about it. The, the, the record, they took that away. The monthly rewards, they took that away. The, the seeing your opponent's team when you load in, they took that away. And then the simpleness to football, they took that away. When you're watching the gameplay, it's just simple. It's just make the right passes, get into the right areas. And when you shoot in certain areas, you know that it's not gonna get AI blocked or there's not gonna be some random stupid goalie animation. You knew that when you got into a certain position, it was most likely going to be a goal because you did the work to get into that position. But now in the new FIFAs, or the new FCs, I should say, you do the work, you outplay your opponent, you destroy your opponent, and the game will bail out your opponent by making their AI lunge at the ball, slide at the ball, dive at the ball, getting an AI block. Look here, guys. It's simple. It's basic. I get in the position with Walcott, I send it backwards, and Deli Ali just pops it in. There's literally nobody there to auto block. There's literally no AI defender bailing this guy out. You can see how fluid my passes are, how they all connect. You can see that when I got into that area then, I took that low driven. In the new FIFAs, the new FCs, that's getting blocked 100%. Because nowadays, it's all about allowing the casual player and the player that doesn't really play the game just gets on every now and again it, it, it's all about those people not getting upset and quitting the game you don't believe me why do they remove the record from the screen why is ai blocking so so powerful why is defending so strong why do the keepers make so many wild saves because they want the players that are not that great at the game to be able to play the game to not like get off the game because they understand if the casual stay on the game people will open packs right so it's all about getting people to open more packs so by keeping the casuals happy you have the ability to go ahead and get yourself more money right so as you're watching this gameplay you see that like as a community and I, I can't speak for the whole community but I think we were happier 
when the game was simpler, when the menus were simpler, when the 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 team building was simpler, when uh, the gameplay and 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 the monthly rewards felt more simple and rewarding. Right now, it seems like every there's there's something to everything. Like, oh, I gotta play weekend league so I can complete this SPC. So, and then if I complete this SPC, I can get myself a guaranteed team of the season. And if I get the guaranteed team of the season, then I could do an icon pack. And if I could do the icon pack, then potentially I could finally make an upgrade to my team. Yo, why can't I just play the weekend league and get an upgrade for my team? Like, why does it have to be all of these steps? Why does it have to be all of this nonsense to be able to upgrade my team? It, it just feels so the weird and, and and so much and it just feels like it's so led to packs but as you watch this gameplay lads i mean i don't know if you guys see this and think like oh this is clean gameplay but to me i look at this and i just think to myself man this is so amazing i know a lot of y'all might be like well skills you just this is a nostalgic thing for you but but look at it lads because while you watch this doesn't it remind you of a barcelona style football and there's nobody that sits here and goes i don't really like the tiki taka but tiki taka is so fun to watch it's beautiful watching, you know, when you see a, a, a team connect five, six passes in a row and score, everybody's like, wow, that was sick. That's why we watch football. We watch football for excitement, for like cool plays, for for that moment, right, of joy, right, goals. And it feels like in, in, in the new FCs that don't really exist no more. That, that that happiness of scoring dope goals and making you feel like you, you can get on the game and score a sick goal, it doesn't feel like that no more. And I just feel that this game, not only, like I said, was simpler, but was just funner times, man. It was it was a lot, a lot fun, a, a, a lot more fun. And I know a lot of y'all, but well, skills because you watched now. Well, look, man, what I was doing back then, we're still doing, lads. We still drop in the top 100s. We still, well, the top 100 don't exist no more. We took it away. Why? Because they don't want people to compete for something because they don't want things to be competitive no more because they want everybody to be on the same skill level. So everybody opens the same amount of packs, I guess. Uh, but there's no top 100 no more. But all, all the all the finishes, man, of, of getting the elite one, all those finishes like that. We did that, bro. We, we did that. We went undefeated this year. We we've been going undefeated. Right. So it's not like, oh, we, we got worse or this and that. But when you look at this, look at people's teams, lads. It's just better right it's just not a bunch of promo cards and a bunch of craziness and two it's just dope bro it's just a cool conte every now and again a dope sterling every now and again you know a real dope icon every now and again and when you saw somebody with a really dope card it meant something you would see somebody with a really cool you know ronaldo and you would go damn that dude got ronaldo i hope one day i can get ronaldo and it felt good nowadays you see pele you don't even care you see, you see Ronaldinho, you're like, all right, pff, everybody got Ronaldinho. He ain't even that good. It's one of those things where it's like, bro, there, there's too much going on in FC 24 and FC games that it's hard to like anything. It's so much, man, that it's hard to like anything. The game is even like, it, it, there's no simpleness, not to the promos, not to the packs, not to the SPCs, not to the gameplay. Nothing about FC 24 is simple. Right. It's 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 like it's just too much happening all the time. You got to do too much to score a goal. You got to do too much to upgrade your team, except for if you go to the promo packs and open up that hundred and whatever. So, you know, open up the the, 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 the one million coin pack, um, it, it, then it's easy. But it's, it's just one of those things, lads, where when I look at this man going back on FIFA 17 and seeing what this game had to offer, I just see a really, really fun game, man. A game that you could build a team that you wanted to build. You could play with players that you want to play with. And you can enjoy the game the way you want to enjoy the game. The new games feel like you got to run a certain formation, run certain players, run the same thing every time, play the game the same way every time, hold second man press the whole time. It just doesn't feel the same. And um, it's a bit sad, man. It really is a bit sad. It's a bit sad to see how bad ea sports really messed this game up you guys see here i get matched up against a team that's just better than mine has like team of the season players everywhere just an outstanding team and with my team that's nowhere near as many special cards as his we're gonna come out and we're gonna ball out and we're gonna compete because we know that when we get into the right area and we take a shot it's not gonna get auto blocked a million times it's not gonna come off of 37 defenders we have an opportunity in every single game to beat our opponent no matter what. And that's exactly what we do here. So if for me, it just feels 
so much better and it felt like skill actually mattered in these games. So I wanted to go back on FIFA 17 and show you guys what the game was like. The teams were simpler, the menus were simpler, the menus were cleaner, you actually could see your record. Uh, the monthly rewards were better, top 100 was better. The way you loaded into games and saw people's teams was better. The gameplay was better. There's nothing about this game that FIFA 21 you can say is better, or FIFA 24, FC 24 is better. There's nothing. There's nothing that you can say is better. Maybe the oh, SP, having SPCs now are cool. Maybe some people think how many promos we have is cool, but there's nothing about these new games that are better than the old ones. The old games were simpler and they were just, you had more fun because you could log on and have a good time and not be stressed out by the game Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's my thoughts I jumped on FIFA 17, uh, FIFA 17 just to feel good about it again, man And as y'all can see going back to those old videos, it was so much better Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on. I love y'all and I will catch you in the next one. Peace